Hi everyone, thank you for joining me. This is Alvin Hamilton with Family Fun Tips. I have a quick video here that uh, for anybody that has a K40 laser, uh, the K40 laser is a CO2 burning laser and engraving laser. Uh, you can get them off eBay or Amazon and probably some other places uh, pretty inexpensively. Uh, but the way they come stock, you really need to do some upgrades on them to make them really function the way a good laser should. I went ahead and I bought a cohesion, a cohesion 3D motherboard, um, which came highly recommended. I bought that and I also bought a camera that connects to your computer so that you can actually see what's on the board of your laser. Uh, I wanted to get that hooked up. I got it in on Friday, hooked it up yesterday, which was Saturday, day of Sunday. Um, and my laser would not fire. I, I was like all excited to get this going and everything else was working, but the laser wouldn't fire. I checked on uh, YouTube and found somebody talking about the same issue and saying that it could be that your water sensor uh, is malfunctioning and to unplug it and then put in a jumper in that same spot, which would then bypass that so you could run your laser. That sounds good. And I think in a pinch, if you have a jumper that you can put in there, I think that would work. Unfortunately, I think there's a reason why that's in there the way it is so that your laser tube is getting the correct water through it to keep it cool. If you run it without water getting through it, I would think it would heat up and shorten the life of the tube. So I researched it a little bit farther myself and I want to show you what I did and I want to show you what uh, they were telling you to do, which I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I'm just saying that if there's an issue, you probably need to fix the water sensor problem because you definitely want to know if there's not water getting to your tube. So I'm going to turn the camera around so you can see it. So here's my K40 laser. And this is the, I don't know if you can see it. That's the motherboard. That's the cohesion board. Down here is where they're talking about there's a little switch right here. That little switch is a test switch. Now, you you want to take something, I, I have like a popsicle stick or a stir stick. You want to take something that's not conductive. Uh, a Sharpie pen, uh, something that's plastic. You don't want to get down in there anything with metal, anything that would conduct electricity because you're talking about high voltage. So whenever I reached down here and hit that, the laser did fire, just like the uh, gentleman was saying. So he was saying that most of the problem is your switch right here, this little, these black wires, that your something has gone haywire. Either the uh, indicator, the pump, or not the pump, but the switch is not working correctly, or something has not worked that's why the laser's not firing anyway they suggested taking this off and then getting a jumper that looks like this but without the cables and putting it down in there and which would bypass this basically telling the computer board hey you know everything's working properly go ahead and fire the laser the issue i had with that is if there's a kink or something in the tube where water wasn't flowing correctly, then I could be doing more damage to my unit. So I went back here to the back and there's where the switch is. This is, this is uh, in between your water lines and water flows through this. And if the water's not flowing through there correctly, then it's telling the computer board, hey, there's an issue here and not letting the laser fire. I looked over here, if you see where the tape is, there's a kink in my tube over there. And once I straightened out that kink, it took me a little while to straighten it out, and then I put that tape down so that it would stay in the position I bent it, so that the water is flowing correctly. If you look on back in the back back there, there's like a clip, and that clip is holding that tube in place. There should have been a clip or something here to keep that tube from bending like it was, but there wasn't. 
so the basically the tube was bending uh, restricting the flow of the water so once I did that and straightened out that tube and then now before you do this and before you go reaching back there you want to make sure everything's turned off turn off all your power turn everything off unplug it and then you can reach back there and kind of work on your tube but once I did that plugged everything back in turned it on it's been working fine ever since uh, this is just kind of a temporary fix. Uh, I may go out to uh, a store, hardware store or Walmart or someplace, see if I can find, you know, some kind of little clip like in the back or even go on Amazon uh, and then replace that tape with maybe a clip that will hold that into place, keep it from bending. Uh, but anyway, I wanted to kind of do a quick video on this. So if you were having the same issue with water flow, or maybe you're not seeing um, enough water going through your tube. It could be because there's a kink in your tubing and you need to adjust that. I don't know. If I, these are Chinese lasers and, you know, I'm sure they're not really going through and putting, you know, we're talking lasers that are three and four hundred dollars. You know, if you bought like a laser that's five or six thousand dollars. You may not have this kind of problem, but whenever you buy these lasers, you know, you need to kind of look at that kind of stuff and see where maybe they were skimping a little bit on putting uh, uh, things to keep the tubes from crimping or whatever. So anyway, I just wanted to make a real quick video on this uh, just to let you know uh, that's why I did to fix the issue. So if you do have an issue with your laser not firing, uh, and you hit that red button, it does fire, then more than likely it's a water flow issue. Check and see if you have a kink in the tube. If not, then maybe that switch has gone bad. Anyway, thanks a lot for joining me today. Go to familyfuntips.com and uh, go ahead and take a look at our website. We've got a lot of content on there, uh, stuff uh, that you can do around the house. Just It updates every couple weeks, and it's by authors all around the country that... Uh, donate and put their time into writing articles, things like that. But go there and take a look. Also hit subscribe, give me a like, and uh, I will get some more content about this laser. Uh, I want to do one about the camera that I installed on this. Uh, the cameras on these, um, on the bigger lasers, the 50 watts and on up that are bigger, the lids are different than what they are on these K40 lasers. So if you do decide to get a camera, I came up with a solution to try to get the camera as straight looking down on the bed as possible. I'll make another video on that and I'll get it up. So thanks a lot for joining me. Have a nice day. Bye.